There you go, slow and steady. I know you're old. Old girl. Oh, you see you guys, you see. Hey, hey, how's it going, people? Oh, wait, my, my camera is a little bit... It's a little bit wet. Hmm, yep, there we go. Much clearer, better for the video. I mean, anyways, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we have got this tarantula to rehouse. I mean, it's another rehousing day. And another rehousing day is... I mean, yeah, what am I even talking about? I don't know, but... Welcome back to another rehousing series, another episode of this rehousing series. And today, why am I moving like this? I don't even know, but... And today, we have got another tarantula that has, like... Like mold in our enclosure. I mean, this one isn't as much, but it's still mold and we're gonna get her into her new enclosure. Today's enclosure, no, no, not today's enclosure. Today's torrential, well, actually, let's just show you today's enclosure as well because I already mentioned it. Today's enclosure, we will be using, um, I think this one. Yeah, we'll be using this one over here. Check this out. Looks pretty cool, I would say. Now, there's a coconut hide over here. There we go. You can see coconut. She can go in. And then we have some plants at the back which makes the enclosure look way nicer from viewpoint and then we have got some cocoa husk over here some other plants and then nice background over here um, we've got some artificial carpet grass down there like turf and then we've got some dried leaves leaf litter we've got a little stone here and yeah that's pretty much it for this enclosure what do you guys think let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this enclosure and also let me know in the comments below which year you left school or which year you will be leaving like as in graduating from school so yeah write it down in the comments below and then over here we will be putting her water dish all right anyways let's get this enclosure down to get this girl in and yeah let's go and before we get this girl into enclosure she does require a little bit of like higher humidity so where is there we go here is my bottle let's get this enclosure spritzed down just a little bit not too much because i don't want mold to start growing it's not good so just light sprays in there, just like that. Good to go, let's go. Let's get this girl. I mean, I haven't even told you or even showed you what this girl is, although you may have seen like the thumbnail. Hmm. Doesn't matter, let's let's see. Okay, let's see what kind of mood she's in today. Hopefully she's in a good mood because this girl, she can act calm. She can be like, appear super calm, but then she turns into a devil in just a split second. There was once, my friend was trying to rehouse her, but let's, I mean, let's just show you her first. Oh, there she is. She just molted. I mean, she molted about two weeks ago, but then I didn't take out the mold. It doesn't matter because it doesn't hurt her in any way. It kind of like still makes her feel like home, I guess, because you can see she's still lying beside the mold. Oh, you can see her blues a ready yeah that's one beautiful tarantula now this is the cyrobacopus cyropagopus or haplopalma lividum the cobalt blue tarantula check her out a lot of you guys love the cobalt blue tarantula i mean what's not to love about them right check that out the blues are so beautiful i mean they look really dark without the light but then with the light check that out yep never can go wrong with this tarantula i mean apart from them being super defensive and super like they can be a little bit cuckoo at times oh yeah back to the story with my friend he was rehousing her and she was like super calm like you wouldn't even believe how calm she was but then she just decided to just just with a snap of a finger turn into a cobalt blue like a legit cobalt blue ran up my friend's arm like up the arm and then come down the other arm and bit him on the hand twice like no i don't mean like double fang like whew, and then you've got two holes twice no she bit twice which translates to four holes so yeah she went boop boop and he got four holes in his hand and he suffered cramps muscle cramps for weeks off and on cramps for weeks and yes this is the culprit over here this girl right here you can see she may appear like super shy look at her she may appear super shy look at her eyes down there yep she looks super shy but even doing this she can just decide to like like sorry it's still zoomed she can still decide to like run out and like destroy my day like spoil my day so yeah anyways let's just stop talking about her i need my catch cup which is over here i just washed this catch cup oh all right i'm not sure how she's gonna react and i'm pretty nervous about it okay but i'm just gonna go in for it i'm just gonna go like right on top of her so let's see she can't do much she's a very very old girl oh yeah you see she's being super calm she's being super duper calm she's not even doing anything yep don't let that fool you guys do not let this behavior fool you. Although she is pretty old, but yeah, anyways, let's just 
Oh, I don't trust this girl at all. You know, Miss Thailand Black, when she feels threatened, she'll straight away go like boom and try to like attack you. But this girl, she is very, very unpredictable. Miss Thailand Black, at least she's a little bit more predictable. She still threat postures you, so you know what she's up to. This girl, as you can see, she is like, she's super chill. Like, she can even appear like in Death Crow. Look at that. But no, 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 no. Don't let this fool you, you guys. Oh man, no. This is far from calm, okay? Let me get my... Where is my tong? Where on earth? Oh, it's right here. Yo, okay. You charger. It's gonna be over there because I don't need you to get wet. Oh my... Come on, girl. Go up. Go up. Yo, she is super calm and super stubborn. Like, look at her. What the hell? What are you doing, girl? I don't even know. Like, I mean, she could give me a jump scare anytime. Give me a moment. Look at her. Super calm. What is this? This is not a cobalt blue. I mean, it's it's this girl. Like, her, this is her personality. She is super calm. But, no. Do not let that fool you. She is not calm at all. Oh my gosh. Girl, can you please be more predictable? <sighs> My cobalt blue is so unpredictable. Okay, I'm really nervous about this. I think I should get something to like cup the bottom instead. <sighs> yeah, I think this one will do. Hey, what is this? I don't even know. Okay, out of the way. Yep, I'll use this, you guys. This will help me a lot. <sighs> Man, this is, I don't know, like molt. Why are you in my way into the water dish you go? Man, look at how big her legs are. This reminds me of crab legs. Like, look at that. They're literally the same size. I think that's why people eat tarantulas in like Cambodia or something, because they, they, they're they like crabs. I have no idea. Come on, girl. I do not want to hurt you. What the hell? Come on, girl. Yo, come on, walk on. Okay, slow. I will not trust you, okay? I'm not trusting you one bit. Oh. All right, just walk on to the lid. There you go, slow and steady. I know you're old. Old girl, come on, but at least cooperate. Yo, this girl is like, I do not trust you one bit. So you gotta like cooperate a little bit. Come on, yep, there we go, there we go. Now you're being more of a cobalt blue. Oh, you see you guys, you see, you see what I mean? This girl, she plays games with you. She plays games with you. Now you don't want to play games with her because she'll win, I'm telling you. She will win, no doubt about that. Look at that. There she goes. You see? Super calm, super stubborn, and then she just goes like boom. Nope, nope, nope. Look at that. You make up your mind. Make up your mind. Okay, there we go. Check her out. She's beautiful. Now, the, the thing is about her is that her abdomen, you see, it's kind of like crooked. It's towards the side. So, yeah, I guess that's just part of being old. I'm not sure if she was born with it. I never really noticed that when I first got her. But, yeah, okay, let's get her out. This girl, she is capable of biting. So, I am very, very nervous. And, I mean, I'm I'm probably more nervous with her than Miss Thailand Black. Because Miss Thailand Black is pretty predictable and this girl is very very the opposite of that she is unpredictable so she can bolt anytime and she will do so when she wants to all right girl there you go you just walk out now you walk out by yourself or do you want me to all right there we go your legs are already out sorry there we go now you want to bolt out you bolt out but do not bolt out I mean, like, do not bolt out of the enclosure. You wanna bolt out of the catch cup, no problem, but don't bolt out of the enclosure. You got that? You freaking got that, girl? Oh man, this girl. Okay, I think this enclosure, I mean, I think this rehouse is gonna be pretty good. Come on, let me just lift this, and then you should be on your way. Yeah, you good, girl? Oh, yes! Oh, whoa! Now that is what I call a successful old world rehouse. Yeah, boy. So, ooh, man. So far, these rehousing videos are going literally way better than I expected them to. Because these guys, I mean, oh, let's check her. Oh, now you can see her blue standing out. Check her out in this enclosure, you guys. Now, is that not beautiful or what? Now, this enclosure, don't worry about the substrate because she can deep really, really deep down there. It's like, there's no limit. I mean, of course, there's a a limit it's it's <sighs> Okay, never mind, but she can deep pretty deep inside. But yeah, guys, that will be it. I mean, let's just look at her one more time. I will not go super close there. Yeah, that's what I mean. See her abdomen is like, I don't know why. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below if she was born like this or I don't know, or it was like a molting complication. I have no idea to be honest, but you can see her abdomen. It's like crooked, like pointing towards the side, but I don't think that has affected her health in any way. She's been eating super fine, no problem. I mean, she did go off food for a 
couple months but then she just got back on food like randomly no issues whatsoever like no for no reason she just went off food so I was kind of worried because when she went off food I noticed her abdomen was crooked like pointing towards the left side but I mean after she started eating my worries just went out the door so yeah that's awesome but I mean she she's doing super well now I'm not sure how old she is she could be like close to 20 years for all you know and I mean hopefully she has a long way more to go because she's my only cobalt blue actually I think I got another one no wait I think I'm, I'm not sure I have to go and check. I have too many tarantulas, but no worries guys. That'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Oh yeah, another thing for you to comment down below besides your school leaving date. Yeah, if you guys have cobalt blues, let me know in the comments below what is the personality of your cobalt blue because based on what I have seen, these guys have their own personalities. Like every single individual has their own personality. This girl, she, she has moods. Like you saw her just now. She was like just chilling there, super stubborn, super chill. Yeah, no, this is this means that she's not chill. But then when she decides that she wants to bolt, when she decides it is the opportunity, yeah, she'll just go for it. So, oh, unpredictable. Hey, why are you making noise, man? Dude. Okay, yeah, anyways. Yeah, that'll be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like I mentioned, two things for you guys to comment below. Comment when you leave school or when you left school. And comment, like, what is your Cobalt Blue's personality like? All right, guys, I'm, I'm really curious to know. So, guys, comment down below. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs it up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Um, What else? Oh, yeah, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. And of course, hit notification bells. By the way, you guys know what I'm gonna get from here, right? Ugh. Of course. Oh my god. There we go. What torrential enclosure will be an enclosure without its water? Okay. As always, guys, have a good one. Take care and wait, let me just put this first. There we go. And peace. Quick update, quick update, because it's been a couple weeks, I think. Yeah, a bit since I've rehoused this girl into here. And just take a look at what she's done. So basically, she has made a web inside this uh, tunnel over here, her little hide. And then there's web at the corner over here. She sometimes lays here to just chill, but she's usually at the back there trying to be an arboreal.